What's up YouTube, welcome back to the first episode of why being a bass player sucks. Now don't get your hopes up, there is only going to be one video of this. I'm going to give you 5 reasons why playing bass actually sucks and why you should never ever start playing bass. If you are a bass player such as myself, stop right now to know the truth. Just a friendly heads up, this video is going to offend some of you. So if you think that you cannot handle just a little bit of truth, just watch the video anyways. You can unsubscribe when I hit 1 million subs. Subscribe now. Let's get to it. Number one. Bass guitar is not easier than regular guitar. Despite the common misconception. Just because you have two less strings doesn't make it any easier. Let me explain with an analogy. Imagine you can walk with two legs. Does it suddenly become easier to walk with one less leg? I didn't think so. Unless you fancy hopping everywhere. It's a bad analogy, but you get what I mean. So if you think you already suck at playing guitar and you think switching to bass will be somewhat easier, well, then I have some very bad news for you. You will probably suck even more at bass. Also, bass guitars come in four strings, five strings, six strings, seven strings, and you know, the occasional 37 string. Epic. Number two, bass will not not get you goals. I feel as though I'm going to have to say this a lot. Gentlemen, if playing guitar won't get you goals, playing bass guitar certainly won't get you goals either. Playing bass is just another way to ensure that you stay a virgin for the rest of your life. But you know what will get you goals? Being good looking! And as for the females, playing anything will probably get you a guy. Even if that isn't the reason that you started playing bass or your instrument in the first place. Welcome to life! Number three. Your strings will never break. It's time for some facts with Gerard. Did you know that bass strings are actually used to hold up all those big bridges that you see in the world? And those cables that you see holding up the bridges are actually just there for decoration. Now you may see this as a good thing, but the longer you have the same strings on your bass for, the more dull and disgusting it becomes to play. You can, of course, cook your strings in boiling hot water to bring back that bright tone. But that bright tone will not stay for long, probably a week or so at best. And plus, who really wants to go through all of that effort? But bro, why don't you just buy new strings? LOL, get a load of this guy. Why would you buy new strings if your current strings are not broken? Logic. Number four, society thinks bass players are dumb. Enough of this bullying. Bass players are human beings and they should be welcomed into society. This goes back to my first point. Just because there are less strings doesn't mean it takes any less skill to play bass. However, when you try to explain why bass is actually an incredibly challenging instrument to play, people just go into full vegetable mode. I'm going to spit some truth now. Playing bass gives you big brains and a godlike complex. The longer you play bass, the more people seem to be like insignificant ants. And the people who don't play bass, but still think bass is cool, also have big brains. So the moral of the story, you suck at life, play bass. But just be prepared for some vegetables hating on you. <sighs> Number five. Oftentimes you can't really hear the bass guitar. It's not like this happens in all songs. It really depends on the artist. Sometimes the artist will want a more overpowering bass sound to assert dominance over other songs. But when you are recording a modern day hit pop song, the bass guitar isn't really meant to pop out, but to rather make the song sound deeper and more whole, unlike some instances. So when you're playing live, it's almost as if you're an extra person just to help hype up the crowd and improve the quality of the song. But in order to hype up people, you need to redirect the attention onto you. But most of the time, the attention is either on the singer or the guitarist. Lucky bass players. <sighs> All right, you have made it to the end of the video. Don't click away yet. To those of you who are still watching this, thank you. Because at the moment, my average view time is just over one minute. Sadness. But you have big IQ because you stayed this long. In the next video, I will probably be discussing why being a guitarist sucks. So subscribe and ring that bell so that you can be notified when that video comes out.